Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Joel Parker and this is Whiteboard Wednesday. This week we're talking about how often is Santa interrupting your practice and what I mean by that is that when your inventory supply order comes in all these boxes it's like Christmas time and Santa delivering presents to your practice and all of a sudden all the staff and all their attention goes off of working on patients and surgery and medicine and taking x-rays and goes over onto the inventory and handling it. So this happens to be very disruptive on a practice. Now the problem is you need your inventory to arrive, you've got to replenish your stock and supplies because clients are coming in, you're consuming products and so forth, so you have to have an inventory drop, but the problem is if it's happening every day, it's very interrupting. And there are many practices that are not organized enough that want to have just a, you know, a daily inventory arriving, but they, they deal with all these interruptions. So here's how, you, here's how you handle that. How do you stop Santa from coming every day? You want him to come once a week and deliver your inventory. And so how are you going to sort this out? Here's your action steps. You want to scan your software system for a report that indicates how many items at what quantity are you using on a weekly basis. So you want to get your weekly items of food and antibiotics and IV fluids and catheters and so forth, how much have you used approximately on a weekly basis. You then want to set your inventory item to your reorder trigger points, which is the low part of your inventory. So in inventory, typically in the software, you're going to set a maximum, which is what you're going to order up to, and then you're going to set a minimum reorder point. So for example, let's say that your inventory report uh, indicates that you're selling 10 bags of a certain type of dog food. And then what you would do is that you would take it down to about, if let's say that you sold 10 a week, then you would probably want a maximum of an inventory of 12, so that when it drops down to two, it triggers a reorder of 10, okay? So we've got minimum, minimum levels for inventory and maximums, and minimums are your trigger points. You never really want to run out of certain things, okay? You want it to trigger an inventory order. So then what you do is on a weekly basis, you go then and you, you print off your weekly order, and you check it over and you walk through to make sure that it's consistent with what you're seeing and you're not over or under ordering, just do a manual check on it. And then what you want to do is send it off so that when the inventory arrives, typically 24 hours later when Santa actually delivers, the next day it arrives on a slow day. Not a day when you are jam packed full of appointments with clients in the waiting room and all this flow of clients and patients coming in. So you want to look at your schedule here, your actual appointment schedule, and then tie that in. For example, when you're in surgery, or associates in surgery and there's a lot of things going on in the surgical room and maybe not much going on up front, the inventory can come in or if it's, if it's coming in the back way, you can have your inventory arrive when you're busy up front with clients dealing with outpatient procedures and so forth. Okay, so there's a couple things to do here again. Number one, scan your system for how many uh, items at what quantity you're using on a weekly basis. You want to then build and set your inventory item reorder trigger points up to a certain maximum. You then want to go and order, print off your weekly order or put it online and have it so that it arrives on a day or a morning or an afternoon when you're slow and then a couple staff can exit themselves out of the normally daily routine and go and put it all together and check it, make sure the prices are fine on the computer and things like that. Okay guys, so the game here on being a really efficient practice and a really profitable practice with some money left over at the end of the, at the, end of the day is nice even flows of clients and patients and not a lot of interruptions. So please try and avoid this. Okay guys, Dylan, thanks very much for your camera work. Oh, you're very welcome. And we'll see you all next week. Don't forget to subscribe down below and we'll see you soon. Thanks so much.